Have this conversation with your dad. Is oh my God, go away. <laughs> <laughs> um, in all honesty now. Oh wow. <laughs> it just hasn't happened. It's a real sore spot. It I'm is. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <sighs> I had the most delightful conversation with the radio goddess, Moe. A baby. I got into the acting scene in 2014. I did a couple of few acting gigs. I did a series here, okay. did maybe two movies. Okay. But there was just a lot of sexual harassment at that time. And it was just a lot. And then unfortunately for them, I had already sort of like made a face on Sound City. So to me, I didn't see the need of having to get in bed with this producer or that producer because I was already a known face. Do you know what I mean? Like, like that, maybe, maybe that desperation just wasn't there. So I was just like, you know what? I don't want to do this. If one of the reasons why I love doing this show is how my guests surprise me. How, you know, what you, you can't have any expectations. Like the conversations we had about self-esteem, about insecurity. If you don't love yourself, then how can the other person give you back that love? Yeah. And that's, that's... And they can smell it. I feel like violent yeah. people can smell... Yes, they can, they can the smell that you're weak, yeah, vulnerable. Yeah that you have low self-esteem, especially that low self-esteem. Yeah. Abusive people can smell that thing from a mile away. Yeah. Where did the low self-esteem come from? Hmm. I kind of sort of feel it came from a single parenthood, but I feel that. Mm. I always say it. Mm. Like if I had that male presence in my life, you can't tell me anything. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of feel like that was it. You know, about... <sighs> Who would have ever thought that Moe has dealt with a violent engagement, a violent and abusive partner? I could have been a married woman right now. Right. So you were engaged? It, yes, but it didn't work out. Also, I've also been in like, you know, a few like, you know, violent relationships. So, and I realized that's not what I want for myself as well. It's impossible for me to imagine you in a violent relationship. You, uh, I was Moe. all. I was all. I was, for about two and a half years. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. The engaged situation. Uh, yes. It wasn't even a thing that somebody had to come and drag me. I needed to sort of realize that no more, this cannot be you loving yourself. You, you like, you being here means that you don't want the best for yourself. Mm. And that was how, literally it was like a, we just had one fight and I never picked this phone call again. You never pick this phone call again. I love it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. it. The conversations we had about the absence of paternal love when she needed it, the conversation she would like to have with her father. My parents are not together. They, they never got married. Right. I'm oh, what right. they call a love child. <laughs> the best kind. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but I didn't necessarily get like much paternal love. Right. So I've always had to fight and protect what's mine. And why she writes on her hand, why she has a tattoo that says, be yourself. Oh, you notice that? Because I am actually somebody that should sort of remind herself that myself is so unique. Because I struggled for a really long time with like self-esteem issues. Right. Well, so, I wouldn't think so. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually did. And I've never met her, but I think that we have become friends because we had the most truthful, authentic, empowering conversation with the TV and radio goddess, Moe Abebe. But I don't believe in things being easy, so yeah. I'll be a rebel to the day I die. <laughs> <laughs>